manufacturing boom in America, and I think Mr. Trump has a lot to do with that, according to our next guest at least. Joining us now are the co-CEOs of a company that takes American Made to heart. Lisa Bradley and Cameron Cruz with us. They are the co-heads of R Riveter. Have I got that right? Sure do. I'm glad to hear it right off the get-go here. Now, you've broken down the manufacturing process so that people can do it at home. Have I got that right? Absolutely. We wanted to create a manufacturing platform that was able to bring opportunities to those that didn't have an ability to receive jobs after move, after move with the military. So it's not a bloody great big factory someplace. It's individual units all over the country, thousands of people at home. What, just making the parts? Correct. So military spouses are going to make parts and pieces like small leather goods, liners, canvas parts, and they get to take that job with them no matter where the military takes them. Mm -hmm. And we put everything together in North Carolina, just outside of Fort Bragg. You should have told me. This is military <laughs> spouses? Yes. That's, you are military spouses yourselves? Yes, we are, yes. So you geared this company towards them working at home in this manufacturing process. How many bags did you make last year and sell? Around 21,000 handbags and accessories last year alone. 21,000? So, That's a lot. That's we, a lot. Right. That's good. It, what's amazing about that is that it's creating opportunity where they really need it. One third, out of every, one third of every dollar goes directly back to the hands of a military spouse. So we're creating sustainable income through our business model. 30% of all the money that rolls into the overall company goes to the individual in the home who's making this stuff. Right. Two military, military spouses that are all part of our, our value stream. I like the bags, by the way. Yeah, they're good looking. Yeah, they are, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. That's a very good stuff. Uh, how much? <laughs> we got a range. So you can go, this no, bag right how, here is how $120. Much is that? This is $120, and this is $240. Well, that's not bad. I mean, I'm right. used to, what is it, Versace stuff? Or right, absolutely. It, and all made in America, <laughs> which is a, an amazing thing to be able to do is, is competing with some of the big players in this market and knowing that your purchasing power is really going towards a community of women. Oh, and, it's and providing a terrific income. idea. Military spouses at home doing something to make money, serious money. Mm -hmm. How many military spouses have you got in, in the system, shall I put it like that? Right now we're working with about 35 to 40 military spouses all over the country, and we call them our remote riveters. Wait, 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 wait. Mm -hmm. 30 to 40 military spouses created 21,000 bags and accessories last year? Yes. Their productivity is spectacular. We're working hard every day. <laughs> Are you unionized? <laughs> Just a question. Are you going to go public? <laughs> yeah, right. We'll talk about that later. <laughs> Are you profitable? Yes, yes. And that's the amazing thing is no one thought we could do this. They said it's going to be more expensive to ship parts all across the country in order to, to provide income to military spouses, but we're not doing this for efficiency. We're doing this for opportunity and also to make a really high-quality handbag. Our riveter. Is that a play on Rosie the Riveter yes, it is. of World War II? Absolutely. She's the icon. We can do it. Um, and for us, she just embodied everything that we stood for, you know, a woman's right to work. And basically, when Lisa and I started this company, we knew that if we were going to have anything for ourselves as military spouses, we were going to have to make it. And then we wanted to also give opportunity and provide opportunity for our entire community, and that was a win-win. Well, you've done it, and that's remarkable. Mm -hmm. Lisa Bradley, Cameron Cruz, thank you very much for being with us and sharing a great deal. I like well, that. Thank you. Thank you, ladies. Appreciate it.